Hi everyone, welcome to my art class. Today I will teach you how to use watercolor to paint flip flop. Are you ready? Let's do it. Switch camera. Okay, so today you will need the watercolor paper, pencil, eraser, tissue, brush, and watercolor set. Okay. So first, let's sketch a flip flap. All right. So let's start with the top. Okay. We are going to make a curve. Okay. Make a curve right here. A little bit. This one a little bit um, tip all right this one is will be the thumb and then here will be the fingers so that's why here a little bit curve bigger and this one goes a little bit flat it's going to be the front for the flip flap okay and let's make the shape for the feet okay so this one we go in a little bit and then comes out in a little bit and comes up so this shape looks like the feet shape okay so you have a one feet shape and then let's do the other one but the other one it's like you know pair right so the curved part this one right here and then this one will be right here okay so I'm going to do the bottom part, so don't make it too close to each other, okay? So curve. Remember this part is for the thumb, so this one here curve a little bit bigger, okay? And here's for the, you see, the feet shape, it's opposite. So here a little bit curve. And this one here will be go in okay so opposite go in and then out a little bit okay for toe right here right so space a little bit bigger and then go in and for the bottom part Okay, and then you can check if it's symmetrical, okay? If not symmetrical, you can always fix it. Little by little, okay? It really depends, okay? Everyone's foot shape different, okay? So you don't need to really worry about how you look alike, okay? Because everyone's shape, some people is a little bit longer, some people is a little bit narrow, and some people here is bigger. So, you know, just create two footsteps, the shapes, okay? And then don't worry about anything else, okay? All right, once you're done, we want, I want to add the thickness. So the thickness, okay, here, find the tip, find the tip, all right? So the tip right here, tip will be right here. And then let's make a curve, slightly curve, not too big, okay, just slightly curve and slightly curve right here and then all you need to do is matching the shape and but you know draw a thickness so do it slow okay and make it right okay follow the shape just did it you just duplicate one more time and then have the thickness ready okay all right another one on the bottom find the pointy part right here and then make a curve goes down okay same thing to here make the find the tip and make a curve goes down and then all you need to do is find the thickness same thickness okay and then tracing it one more time tracing it 
one more time. Okay, I think this one should be good. Okay, all right, next one, I'm going to do decorations, okay? And I put some, you know, beads right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do some circles. Circle, circle, circle. You can do any different kind of decoration. It's up to you, okay? Flip flop should have your own design. Okay, it's easy, but you should have your own design too, okay? So don't worry about the design. You can design on your own, okay? Doing a lot of beads. And I'm going to show you how to make it three-dimensional too, okay? If you like to put the beads around the shoes, that would be awesome, okay? And you don't need to do it too big, okay? All right, next one, it's a little bit hard, okay? You, you are going to make the curve up a little bit up more, okay? Like up and down, not too flat, okay? Not too flat. So let's try up, 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 up a little bit more, okay? up and then we go down okay and then we double the line up double the line going up and then we go down same thickness okay like here all right, and then the other side. Okay, let's make a curve right here. And but this this one here because of the perspective here a little bit curve slightly. Okay, so not too big curve. More flat. Go down, but a little bit over this this here. Okay, because of the perspective. All right, and another curve, go along with it, and then find the end, like that. And then I'm going to do some uh, decoration right here, let's draw flower. You can do your own design, okay? Seashell, anything, okay? You can decorate, all right? So I'm going to make a circle right here. Circle right here. And then I put design the paddles. And I'm doing a flower, okay? Paddles right here. Okay, so and I'm going to erase the overlapping part. Okay. Here we go. A little bit. Okay, I think this is good. Okay, I'm going to do the other one, just doing the same thing, okay? And same thing we're going up and down okay and then if you feel like oh it's not right we can always fix it okay let's do the bottom one okay going up curve up 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 and we go down 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 okay same thing one more time okay going up hmm I want to go up on the top, I think, here, okay, go up, let's see if it's good, okay, okay, and then close up right here, okay, I think it's okay, all right, another one, let's 
and from here a little bit slanted all right not so curved okay curve up a little bit you still need to make a curve okay but not too much and it goes down and on the line I do it really slow okay so everyone can do it with me together all right I think this one might be good okay I'm not sure yet okay so that's erasing it erase the overlapping part and we check later okay all right let's draw a flower right here I'm going to do circle and paddles curve 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 okay i'm going to erase the overlapping part and then we draw it again okay Uh, and then right now you can double check okay so for example i feel like mm, the petal right here a little bit too small and i can fix make it a little bit bigger like that okay and then you can check okay if this line going to up you can make it slow down a little bit more something like that okay so double check see if you like it okay so this one hmm i think here i want it a little bit slanted to to curve a little bit too much so i'm going to bring it here and then see if i like it like that i think this is better okay so you can use your pencil fix and then see how you like it okay all right i think i'm done for the sketching part double check 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 okay all right and then next one i'm going to use my water color okay first this one i want a pink flip flap all right so i make a pink i need a lot of white so you can see i take a some water Take a lot of white, put it right here. I'm going to take some red and mix it just a little bit. Uh, I want it light, a little bit light. Okay. Oh, you can see, all right, right here. Red, a little bit. And then I need a lot, a lot of white. Mix, mix, mix make the pink okay i think i have the pink okay and then first i'm going to do let me show you the water how much water i did put a little bit of water on the tip make it wet a little bit of water make it wet All right, i want my flip flap a little bit mm, light so okay you can see very light a lot of water and then you can go ahead and start to paint. Okay, so push the brush a little bit on the side. And then let's start to paint. Okay. Very light, right? Light pink. All right. And then just go ahead and do it use your watercolor pin your flip-flop oh i use pink and then you can use any color okay you can use any color but first i like to make it light okay light All right, a little bit of water, pigment, 
Ne baş baş baş. Baş a. Okay, you see my flip flop? Right here. Okay, that's my first layer. Okay, same thing to the bottom. I'm going to just pin my first layer with the light pink. If you want the light blue, or light green, you can do it, okay? And you can add a little bit white to make it a little bit opaque. Okay. All right, I'm going to finish painting this area. Okay. A little bit of water. A little water. And paint. Okay. To the rest of the area right here. Itoki, okay. Keep going. And the rest of the area. And we talk about shading later, okay? Okay, I have my first layer. You see my first layer? Okay. And next one. I want to do a little bit shading, okay? A little bit shading. So you see my light will come from this way, okay? So when I light come from this way, top will be lighter, lighter tone, medium tone, darker tone on the bottom. Makes sense, right? Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit more red. Just a little bit more. Okay, so you can see this pigment a little bit darker, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it very light, a little water, very light, one more layer, okay? Just kind of go over the top one more time. One more layer, one more time. So you see, I have a little bit darker tone. Okay, so same thing to the here. I have a little bit darker tone. Okay, and a little bit more, one more stroke. And here, shade, okay, shade. And then uh, the light come from this way, right? Okay, and then so, a light come from here this way and then we are, we are going to do the shading a little bit this one we will have a shade okay because the light come from this way and so you have a shading for the top part here too right okay all right okay let's do it on the bottom too a little bit shading on the bottom. A little bit shading on the bottom. Okay. A little bit. Okay. All right, and then the shadow for this one, right? Shadow here, here, the join part. And the shadow goes down, 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 a little bit. Okay. And a little bit shadow for the flowers. Okay. And then wash your brush, wash, wash. Take out the extra water. I don't like the line right here in between, so that's over. The top soft they are soft make it soft soft so they look slowly blending in right 
Wash your brush, wash, wash. Take out the extra water. Okay, soft the edges, okay? Back and forth, back and forth. Make it soft. Not too much water, dry, okay? Okay, back and forth, back and forth. Soft to the edges, okay? Back and forth, back and forth. Soft to the edges. All right. Okay, next one, I would like to do a little bit more shading. Okay. And the, the darker shading for this one, the shade, and this one, the shade, and then the bottom a little bit more to make it more 3D, okay? So I need a little bit more darker tone. I'm going to use this red, okay? This one, a little bit redder. And then you see I didn't add the white at all, right? Okay, and then my brush a little bit dry, not too much water, a little bit dry. And I'm going to do it the bottom part, light, medium, dark. Right now it's going to be a darker tone, okay? More red. So I'm going to focus on the edges right here. Go to do it one more time. One more time. Like that. And same thing to the bottom. Same thing to the bottom, one more time. Okay, and then a little bit more on the bottom here, more on the bottom. That's the join part, the join part, you know, the light hard to go in, so that's why I make it darker. Okay, and then I do a little bit more shading to make it lift up, all right? So this shading is important, okay? You will need to shade it and then make it look look like, you know, the flip flop. This curve is lift up, okay? So a little bit more right here. And then I do zigzag, zigzag, zigzag until it blends in, okay? Wash your brush, wash, wash. Take out the extra water. And a little bit, very light, very light. And then you can do it a little bit on the bottom. Very light, okay? Not too over, okay? Not too over. This one is the shape for the this one. Very light, okay? Same thing to this one, very light. Very light. Very light. Okay. Very light. Okay, wash your brush, wash, wash. All right. And then next one, I'm going to do this. This is going to be red, okay? So the red color, I choose this color. This color actually, let me move a little bit this way. This red, concentrate, no white. It's a little bit orange ish, okay? All right, concentrate, no white. Okay, but a little bit more water. A little bit more water, make it light, and then scrape out the extra water. Okay? And Oh, yeah, hold on. Here we go, focus. All right, and then we are going to pin. If you have a smaller brush, you can use the smaller brush, okay? And But otherwise, use tip. It's easy, just use tip. Use tip to pin. Okay. 
use tip. I like it a little bit more concentrate, okay? So I, I do a little bit more ink. I think it's too light, okay? So I, I do it one more time. Oh, this is better. Because I want to separate the color with the bottom part. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. Okay, the color separate different, right? Okay, let me flip this way so you can see uh, the red one I use right here. Okay. Okay, and the bottom part right here. Tracing it. Pim, pim, pim. A little bit patient, okay? Paint. Together. Here we go. Okay, another one. Paint. Okay, and on the bottom, okay, you have to be patient, okay, make it right, okay, more orange, orange is red, And here we go. Okay, and then check if you have a th same thickness. Like this one, I don't think it has same thickness. I need this one a little bit thicker. A little bit thicker. Then I get it right, okay? All right, and then next one, I want you to do a little bit shading on the top it's lighter tone and the bottom a little bit darker tone okay so what i'm going to do this time not too much water just red orange each orange each red okay and then let's do it on the bottom only okay on the bottom here half okay you can do half So you can see it's darker. You see it? Okay, it's darker. Okay, and uh, one more time on the bottom, this one. Okay, ready? All right. On the bottom. So it's separate. You can see it start to lift up right okay and one more time for the bottom part this one red concentrate red for the bottom part okay here we go all right and then same thing to this one, the bottom part and the join part too. Okay. Right there. Okay, so it lifts up a little bit. Did you see it? All right. Okay, and then wash your brush, wash, 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 wash. Okay, I show you a technique, okay? Take a little bit, uh, get a smaller brush, put some water, wash, wash, 
and take out the extra water let's wash off a little bit here dry your brush back and forth back and forth did you see here become lighter okay you can use this kind of technique to make it a little bit reflection right here okay wash your brush take out the extra water take out some water from your tissue paper and then go back and forth back and forth you see a little bit lighter okay that's how i do my reflection right there okay all right same thing repeat the process and then do a little bit right here back and forth back and forth you see the reflection okay so it look more real i'm going to do one more there okay wash your brush take off the extra water take some water off and then right here on the top back and forth back and forth you see a little bit lighter so this one can look more real okay all right next one let's take uh put some um beautiful color for the beads i'm going to just use red and uh, red and yellow okay so let's start with the yellow and pick some yellow concentrate yellow okay as i'm going to do a yellow circle yellow circle more yellow yellow right here okay and then more yellow for the bottom part too okay and i leave a little bit a little circle on pen i don't know if you can can see or not just uh, you know reflection very teeny teeny part not painting it okay teeny part leave it on pen very teeny but if you cannot do it that's fine no it's just like you know it can show a reflection make it more 3d look all right circle all right here we go and then we i'm going to use yellow very light very light yellow for the circle here too my flower okay and then circle here too okay and then next one i'm going to use a little bit red i'm going to use this orangish red again and put some water Okay, very light. Okay, I didn't use concentrate one. And I'm going to pin the circle, and then the same thing. I leave a little bit circle on paint. Very teeny. If I think you can see it, right? All right, teeny part on paint. Circle. Any part on paint circle any part on paint okay same thing to this one little by little okay little by little circle little on pen area circle little on pen one more the last one 
and then we are going to do shading after okay here we go done for the circle okay and now bottom i like to make the make some blue okay let's take some blue any kind of color you like any color combination you like and just go ahead and take some blue okay i'll paint the bottom part it's just a color in okay no trick yeah and we do shading after okay so i just go ahead online and paint the rest of the area okay you can see that okay keep going Cover the rest of the area. Okay, more blue. Keep on finish the rest of the area. Here we go. Okay, for the bottom part to water, water color, bottom part. Okay, circle. Okay, keep it circle, okay? Try not to mess up. Close along on the top. And pin the red of rest of the area. You can circle it first and then pin. Okay, so you won't mess up the sheet. Circle it first and then paint. Circle first and then paint. This area, you, you know, if you do the beads, you have to be patient, okay? Okay, paint the rest of the area. You know, it's just a matter of time and no big technique over here. Just a matter of time how you, you know, finish the unpaint area. Okay, and then we got a light tone. Right now, darker tone. Uh, just concentrate. Concentrate blue. Concentrate blue. Less water and okay, let's go the bottom one more time. One more time. So it looks darker, much darker. Only the bottom, okay? Only the bottom. Concentrate blue. Okay, and then the the join area. Join area right here. Okay. Join area right here. One more time, make it darker. Okay, and then you see here, the light goes here. So here a little bit shade. And then fade it out a little bit shade and then fade it out okay a little bit shade on the bottom of the circle you see 
and then fade it up. Curve and make a curve for shading the bottom of the circles and then fade it up. I do it on every single one, okay? Okay. Here we go. Okay, let's do the others, the bottom part too. Okay, watercolor. Concentrate, not too much paint. Okay, here we go. Bottom. I start with the bottom. Darker. Okay, the join part. More paint on the bottom. The overlapping part, okay? Do it on the overlapping part. Okay, shading. Concentrate. Curve on the bottom of the circle, on the bottom of the circle, curve and then fade it up. Bottom of the circle, fade it up. Bottom of the circle, fade it up. Curve, bottom of the circle, fade it up. Bottom of the circle, fade it up. Just repeat, repeat, repeat. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you can see whatever you need it a little bit darker. And let's do it, okay? Okay, I think we the bottom part is good. Okay. And then let's wash out the brush, wash, wash. Okay, and then I need a darker red. Okay, so darker red. Let's do a little bit darker red. This color, darker red, mix with brown, so it becomes darker. And then add a little bit blue right here. So you see the red become darker. All right, and then let's do it on the bottom, right here, bottom. Curve, just make a curve, make a curve, make a curve on your circle, on the bottom, on the bottom, on the bottom, so the beads look popping out, okay? Okay, check on every single one, see if you did it, okay? Yeah, all right. And then a little bit right here, join part. Little bit on the join part. Little bit on the join part. Join part here, curve a little bit more. Curve a little bit more. Little bit on the join part. Okay. All right, and then same thing this one, let's go through the bottom, one more time, this darker color, very tip, okay, only the really tip, and then here, that's the darkest part, okay, darkest part right here, not too much, okay, and the same thing here, one more time, because this one can make the flip flop here more popping out, okay? Yeah, bottom part a little bit more. Okay, and then let's finish the flowers. I'm going to use this green. Okay. And then mix with this yellow. Oh, I forgot the yellow, huh? The yellow beads. Okay, let's do it later, okay? Okay, this one is beautiful green. Let's finish the flower first. 
with a beautiful green a little bit more concentrate beautiful green we are going to shade in the yellow later okay let's put a beautiful green first again you can change any color you like you can design your own flip flop okay but remember do shading to make it look real okay make it look realistic right here right here Here we go. All right. And the next one, what I want you to do without washing it, take a darker green right here. Mix, mix. Take a darker green. We are going to shade in a little bit, okay? Darker green. You like green. Mix together. Looks awesome. And then take a little bit this red right here. You see the red? Yeah, so it's a little bit darker. Okay. And then we are going to do the shading. All right, the shading between the flowers. Okay. So here between the flowers. You see? The line I made between the flowers and the center of the flower. Make it a little bit darker. Okay, and the shading a little bit on the bottom, on the side, on the side right here, a little bit shade right here, a little bit here on the bottom. You see, like that, pretty, okay? And then same thing, circle inside. That's the light where it cannot go in, right? And then in between the flowers. Okay, and then inside, shade a little bit. Shade on the bottom. Bottom of the flower petals. And the center of the petals. Bottom of the flower petals and center okay bottom of the petals and the side center uh, center of the petals and online a little bit to make this flower more shape can be more pops out like that is that fun? Okay, here online a little bit. Online a little bit. Use small brush, okay? Online a little bit. Online a little bit. Online a little bit. Okay, and the next one, wash your brush, wash, wash. Let's make some uh, yellow. A darker yellow take a little bit yellow all right and then let's mix a little bit orange make it darker okay concentrate yellow all right you see this yellow okay that's shading of this circle okay make a curve you see you are shading it make a curve because light, medium, dark, right? So same thing to the bottom. I shade the your yellow on the bottom only. On the bottom only. Okay, on the bottom only. On the bottom only. On the bottom only. Okay. 
if you like it more pops out and then you can shade more take a little bit more orange if you like to shade a little bit more orange yellow a little bit green will be fine okay green and then you see it make it a little yellow more darker and then you can do it one more time one more time on the bottom one more time so this yellow will look really pops up do you see it make the difference okay really pops up okay and I think the last one we are going to do the shading okay so I have a brush a little bit bigger mix all the dirty color together mix all the dirty color together and then we can make the shading okay this color is already nice see the dirty color right here okay put a lots of water okay and then let's do the shading on the bottom of the lift flip flop very light okay not too dark very light on the bottom and then same thing to here on the bottom very light. Very light. And then that's fade it out. Fade it out. Fade it out. Fade it out. Okay, use water. Wash, wash your brush. Take out the extra water. Fade it out on the bottom, let it darker tone disappear. Easy. Make it disappear. Okay. And then same thing to here. Zigzag. Zigzag. Make it disappear. Fade it out, fade it out. okay and let's do a little bit darker blue i want the color a little bit concentrate a little bit orange green you see a little bit blue a little bit orange A little bit red mix mix together and a little bit darker green you see this dirty color okay and then you can do it on the very bottom one more time very light okay on the bottom like that okay so here's our flip-flop we finish okay all right and uh, if you like the last one the last one you can put a little bit more this red color okay and mix mix a little bit this color and then you can put it on the bottom of the flower just a little bit to make it more pops out okay Yeah, highlight highlight on the bottom of your flower 
This one shading, 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 shading. Okay. So this is how we finish. Okay. And you know, a little bit touch up here and there, here and there. That would be really nice. A little bit touch up, okay? I think, yeah, a little bit right here, touch up. Double check, check, see where you need to have a little more touch up, okay? Double check, 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 okay? Always. Like here, a little bit darker. A little bit darker on the bottom I like a little bit darker so look more 3d a little bit darker a little bit darker okay little bit darker. I think I'm going to have a little bit darker here too. Yep, like that. So, you know, double check for the shading part. See where you want to have a little bit more shade. And then we call touch up, okay? A little bit more shade here, a little bit more shade here. And here, 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 okay, double check, 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 I think here fade out a little bit, I'm going to put it back, here we go, alright, a little bit right here, okay, I'm finished. Okay, let me show you the front view. Okay, switch camera. All right, flip flop right here. Do you like it? I hope you enjoy the lesson and I see you next time. Okay, bye bye everyone. Bye bye. See you next time.